being the only child growing up, uh, you know, my father being a heroin addict and everything, I only live and learn from my father. My father was always a workaholic. And, but as far as, you know, having little symptoms of allergies, whatever not, and get shots behind my back and et cetera, et cetera, and allergic to, you know, certain kind of plants and guacamole and get shots every week, the needles were not even in, like, even bother me at all. Like, okay, cool. Like, oh, you don't cry? Like, okay, cool, you know, whatever. But my father, as a Tecato, I learned from him. I'm not proud of it, but I experienced of heroin was first drug choice at 12 years old. It only makes it to only be worse, never better. As far as, yeah, you get a little family, a little money in your pocket. Yeah, you know, you do a little thing, but don't get caught up in the game, you know, but making my money in my neighborhood, huh, hey, little loco, relax, homie, tranquilo, relax. And why are you guys, you guys saw your rock? I saw my heroin. What's, what's wrong with that? When they smoke the Primos and Cocoa Puffs, I'm doing a shot. What's wrong with that? But the way I do my shot, I just can never do enough because what, just a little bit at a young age, boom. What an idiot. Throw me in the tub. 25, 25 35 minutes later, wake up. <sighs> fucking cold as fuck, get out of the shower. <laughs> What's up, homie? Here's your dope right there, homie. Fucking bend there, homie. <laughs> Oops, I did it again, huh? Well, you know, at 12, 13, 14, 15, and 17, OD'd on heroin, never once went to the hospital, all in the shower. Because why? My homeboys are on parole. You think I'm gonna call 911 for you, homie? I ain't, I ain't gonna deal for your ass, homie. You know, get together, homie, what's up? I mean, what can I say? You know, uh, it's an experience to live and tell or rest in peace, spooky, homie, right, right there in the grave, you know? I believe in this disease of addiction that we go through. It's either you are to be foretold to be stand tall and stand strong for this addiction that you accomplished or breath taken and say, I'll be with you, man. And <laughs> He was a good man, but it's fucked up that the drugs took over him and died. But as far as I go older into a, a, a teenager, you know, Crystal and heroin is like a chase the dragon shit. It only gets better, it never gets worse, it only gets better. As one drug leads to another, it says. And people look at me like, are you stupid? Hey, am I being a hypocrite amongst anyone doing their drug? No. Am I tripping on you looking at the window? Stop being paranoid. You over here trying to fix something that can't be fixed, and you, what are you doing? What do you, I mean, people, all you have is a play role, but what I'm trying to tell you is that when I do my thing, and you guys see me with my can and my little lighter, what? Let me enjoy my shit, man, shit, what the fuck, you know? But I can never enjoy it because what I think is enough is never enough, because what? One is too many, and a thousand is never enough. And when I do the injection, the heat just comes quick, boom, fucking pendejo, otra. I don't hear a word they say until I wake up 25 minutes later in the water. What is wrong with me? No, nah, what's wrong with me? He said, you know, it ain't my time. Well, when is your time? Oh, well, I mean, what do I want to see within myself at the age I am, 41 years old? Spooks in a wheelchair. <laughs> Spooks has one leg. <laughs> Spooks has one eye. Oh, he has a, hey, how you doing? I mean, what is it? You want to be resembled as a, as a demonstration for society that what you've been through just to tell a tale? You lost your legs over what? Your addiction? Wow. <laughs> yeah, some have worse than others, okay? You know, uh, when I think that, I, you know, uh, Odin and going to the hospital and then you uh, happen just to just do crystal by itself and to the extreme of just beyond, like, damn, what's really going on with this guy, man? Smoking bowls, doing Scarface lines. <laughs> Are you satisfied? Never enough. You want to go home and your, your girl wants to uh, take off. Where are you going, baby? And she's crying. You know, you're with the homies. There you go again. You want to save her, kind of save a hole, jump in the car. She's taking off. She's hitting me, hitting me, hitting me. It never gets better. It only gets worse. As far as something in my chest that's like getting so tight, all of a sudden I cramp in my, in my mouth. My tongue's going back. I pinch it. Oh, now you want to play games. <laughs> She's like, what's wrong with you? And I went to convulsions, holding my tongue. Oh my God, boom, Kaiser Hospital Bellflower. As far as she tells the nurse, my mom's having a seizure, they put me into the room. As before the doctors, you know, put the little wooden thing in my mouth so I don't swallow my tongue to give me a shot. So I could, I guess, calm my heartbeat down or whatever was going inside my body because my body was going to extreme crazy to have a seizure like that. And before they were gonna give me a shot, I hit minute and 15 seconds, cold blue. Huh. Electricity three times, first time, nothing, second time, nothing, third time, got my heartbeat back. 
I wake up 25 minutes later, my eyes are burning red and fire. My girl's crying on my arm. You gotta stop. What do I say? It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Fucking spooky. So I like, you know, like, yeah, he has it all day. He is, he, and you figure out of the hospital after experience almost a, a death, does that wake up? I figure, I hope so. I wish I could tell you the same thing that you would think that it would be the best, but it's not. It only gets worse. As far as my actions with no license, no registration, yeah, okay, do some time, whatever, little smack on the hand, you know. I uh, go do my time, I come back, and then the, my lady drives a Volvo, as long as I, I tank car, to safe and sound, and seven days at a warehouse, work at seven at night to seven in the morning, I don't sleep. For seven days, every time I go home, there's company. Every time I go home, there's people in the room. Every time, you know, there's all, what can I say, you know what I mean? What can I say? I'm there playing my PlayStation, eating my ice cream, you know? Do I sleep? No. Does she care? No. I gotta go to work though, gotta go to work. Don't trip, I'll be back. Go to work, seven night, seven in the morning. Seven days, I go Friday night, come home Saturday morning. <laughs> Two minutes away from Pico Rivera by Smith Park from my house and the little duplex right there, my body shut down, man. My body shut down, damn it. Shut down to the cars driving 50, 60 miles an hour, no seatbelt, still tow boots on, damn oil burning right here on my flannel, hit the dance on the bridge, boom, 50, 60 miles an hour. The only thing was the steering wheel, how the car impact, the car was like, whoever was in the shotgun would be like a harmonica, it would have been crushed, like, oh shit. Did I see anything? The only thing was the steering wheel came so rapidly, it, it twisted my wrist, psh, Oh, that's it, that's it. That's all I felt like, oh. And then I didn't hear no ambulance. They used the jaws of life to open the car door. I didn't hear no metal open door. They sent a helicopter in the playground. I didn't even fucking feel my first helicopter ride. I didn't even get feel shit. I didn't hear no sirens. I didn't hear no people talking. Hey, we got him, we got him, we got him. I didn't hear nothing. What a fucking trip. I wake up five days later in a coma. Five days later, my mom and my auntie were there to visit me every day. And boy, what the eyes see from a mother figure, you know, moms, moms, won't, moms never lie to you. But, mijo, we watched you and you were laying down like you were like this. <laughs> like you were talking to somebody or there's something going on, but Really, mom? She goes, yes, your lips were just, was like sleep talking? You weren't saying nothing, but you, wow. What do you, what, what, what do you want to call that? Um, like a sign? What, deeper than that? Reality? Deeper than that? Would you say that's how your higher power is trying to give you a sign? Hell yeah, okay, what did you see? Oh, wow. <laughs> Death is, is, is no joke. You know, God has you here for a reason. Don't ask me why, don't ask me how, but just a fucking bro that just goes out. And the outside of the heads is like an orange reddish and you keep rubbing your eyes. Hey, is anyone there? And you just wanna, it's like, I, I can see, I barely see the face. You just keep looking, but you can't see the face. But the outside of the head is just, man, fucking, there's a lot of, a lot of people. A lot of people, you see. But the one thing that uh, is, what the fuck is that noise? In the Bible it says, for the sufferings of pain and being in hell, they grind their teeth, but they're dead. Exactly, they ain't got no teeth, they're gums. They're gums and everyone's doing it. Oh my God, <laughs> that's like, damn! <laughs> Chalkboard, scribble the chills, yeah. Everyone's doing it like, it's like, what the hell's that noise? Everyone's fucking suffering. And that little fucking lighthouse way over there just coming. And the lighthouse hits me. <sighs> I wake up. I see a light blue fucking uh, roof like, where the fuck am I at? Look down at my fucking body. Okay, quick body check. Left leg, good. Right leg, good. Right arm, good. Left arm, ah. It was all white. <laughs> I look at like, where the fuck am I at? And the guy goes, you're in the hospital. I look at him like, Okay, good, <laughs> who the fuck did I hit? What am I here? Man, I didn't know shit. 
Here comes the nurse. Ah, you wake up. Ah, I go get doctor. <laughs> what the, whatever. Go get the doctor. Mr. Morales, how you doing? I'm just like, man, you're lucky to be alive, sir. And I go, what happened, sir? Well, you got in a car accident. My heart just dropped. Like, oh, shit, who did I kill? I killed a little baby. I'm like, I'm scared shitless. And he goes, well, let's be thankful that you didn't hit nobody, but you hit the bridge at Smith Park. The what? Yeah, your body shut down. You don't remember? Well, we have you in ICU, man, because your head injury was <laughs> like, uh, you have not been asleep in a long time because you were so out of it. Your body was so relaxed that your body went with the, your body went with the crush. <laughs> My mom took a picture of the car. The hood of the car was all metal, this much metal. Everything else is through the windshield. Shotgun, literally crushed. My legs were still extended and a steering wheel came halfway to my chest and that's why I fractured my wrist. There's no, the fucking car demolished. You're lucky to be alive. <laughs> Get out of the accident, recuperate, go to prison, come out of prison, go to ITT Tech Trade College, get my fucking for lead, for lead poisoning, Did, make something, got a career job, go to San Diego, do my money, come back on a Friday night to spend time with my family, and Spooks wanna do it his way. Uh, let's go the blue line to green line and green line, what about to Whittier? And let me move to downtown LA. Spokes want to do it his way. I see a couple, a Chinese broad and a white boy. Oh man, they're like little swaggling, little, little, little tipsy, she had a little skirt on, and white boy has a little, you know. I was like, oh man, they look a little fucked up, man. I'm walking over there, hey, are you guys okay? And this brother, hey, 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 hey I, I, I got this. Hey, fool, chill out, fool. Hey, you guys are, hey, you guys are right? Hey, homie, homie, hey, don't trip on me. I got this, homie. Hey, is this your dad, homie? And they're like, I don't know who the fuck this guy is. Hey, homie, he's a grown ass man. No, I'm talking, hey, homie, why you guys get in the mix, homie? I'm drinking my hustle one. What the fuck are you talking about, man? What the fuck? I'm not seeing if they're okay, homie. He goes, hey, bro, we're good. And then Lou goes, ah, oh, we're good. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I just want to make sure, you know, man? man? Man, I got this, man. Don't, don't try to be in my game shit. Man, you ain't got shit, homie. Walk away. <laughs> This nigga fucking hit me behind my back. Bing! Home run, Bruce Lee hit me in my fucking jaw. Ricochet, fucking fractured the other jaw, didn't know it. Nigga broke my fucking jaw at one punch, didn't know it, I'm fighting this nigga. Another fool gets involved, two people, man, fuck both of you bitches, man. I go to the fucking alley where my family was at. Hey, what's that, Spooky? Hey, can you guys tell me what's wrong with my mouth, man? It's fucking it's weird, my spit. Let me see, one lighter, two lighter, three lighters. Oh my God, what, what, what the fuck? Here come the brothers, hey, hey, let me see, let me see, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Over, over your mouth, all right, all right. One lighter, two lighter, three lighter, five lighters. Oh my God, what spooky one. This, yeah, it's right here. Your fucking jaw's broken. <laughs> For real? <laughs> happened at two, three, happened at two, three in the morning when this happened. You wanna call the ambulance? Fuck, no, I don't want people from the ambulance. I don't, no, 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 fuck the ambulance. Spooky, what are you gonna do? I, I, I ain't going to no ambulance. No, 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 I'm fucking for a bill for me. No, fuck that. Uh, I'm right here on 3rd and 4th Street in downtown Skid Road. St. Vincent is right off the street. You gonna walk over there? Um, why not? I mean, I'm not, I'm not crippled. I mean, well, it happens that, you know what? Let's, let's overcome the hospital right now. Just give me a beer and uh, give me a bucket. I kept spitting, kept spitting, drinking beer, smoking crack until fucking almost five, six in the morning. And uh, my throat, it hurts when I swallow. My shit's getting swollen, your jaw's fucking broken, dumbass. I don't know that though, but I'm just saying, metaphor speaking, you know? So then, hey, I'm gone. Spooky, you gonna be okay, don't trip, I'll be okay. As I walk from fucking Skid Road to fucking that long tunnel in downtown LA to get to the other side of town, to go up towards fucking St. Vincent, I pull in my fucking, my Medi-Cal card. They took their sweet ass time. Now my shit's hurting, my shit's hurting bad. Okay, sir, how can we help you? My jaw's fucking broken, okay, what happened? <laughs> I can't even fucking talk. Then they take me to go do a CAT scan. Now the CAT scan, oh, son of a bitch. They give me a fucking jacket. Okay, lay back. Oh, whoa, 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 what happened? <laughs> you know, when you lay back, your body goes back. You're, you're, I mean, I'm common sense, right? When, you're, when you lay back, doesn't your skin go back or doesn't your bones, I mean, am I tripping or not? But yeah, your jaw does go back. So the pressure of me going back, oh, it fucking hurt. A guy and a girl goes, no, no, I mean, you have to, okay. If you have a broken jaw, you can fucking try this shit. Hey, you won't do it, okay? It fucking hurts bad. Okay, but you got, you know, we got, hey, bro, you got all the tattoos. Fuck my tattoos. My tattoos don't do shit with my fucking jaw. Fuck you, you think I, you know, you want something to suck it out. 
you people don't understand. My fucking jaw is fucking literally fucking deformed, and you want me to fucking lay back like <laughs> my jaw's gonna go backwards. Like, come on, that shit fucking hurts. But I sucked it up, <laughs> went back, and the shit hurt like shit. And went to the machine, took those pictures. Son of a bitch, man. They put me in my little room. They said, well, tomorrow we're gonna get the results for your fucking jaw. We'll give you some uh, morphine shots so you'll be okay. Morphine, the morphine shot will knock me out. I'm in Torrance Hospital where my dad works at, under his nose. My dad don't even know I'm in the hospital. My dad's Daniel Morales, I'm Daniel Michael Morales Jr. Everyone in the hospital don't even know that we're related. Five days in the hospital and my dad is, is the one that gets all the supplies for the hospital on every floor. He's been there for 19 years. Everyone knows my dad. I show up, my dad don't know, I'm right under his nose. How do I see my father again? <laughs> this is where it gets better. When I came out of the fucking hospital, when I came out of the CAT scan, <laughs> I ended up, you know, saying that, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna give you the braces, we're gonna shut your mouth, but staples. Okay. Put me to sleep. Wake up. They put a metal plate here and a metal plate here. What the fuck? I'm not shut for 10 months, eating chicken broth through a fucking straw. <laughs> Chinese food, spaghetti. Fuck you guys, you guys are scandalous, yeah? You know I'm fucking hungry, dick. Oh, fucking shit. Talk about torture. No, but it only gets better. My ex-girlfriend thought that I was messing with my homegirl Jackie, my homegirl from my neighborhood, eh? My own homegirl that I never even had sex with. But my right eye partner, my Bonnie and Clyde, you know what I mean? Make that fatty, uh, you know, that gangster shit, you know what I mean? But Always wanted to, but you know, I have a boyfriend, you know what I mean? But it was like so fucking intense. So like, you know, like when we do it, we're gonna be off the chain and loving the air. What do you wanna call it? Let's talk about sex, baby. It's gonna be the shit. But we never crossed that boundary out of respect. But my ex thought that we did, that we, we did the whole shebang, bang, what bang, bada bing, bada boom, whatever you wanna call that shit. Babe, we didn't. She was hungry at two, three in the morning. She wanted to go get something to eat. Let's go get something to eat, let's go, man. She took the fucking kitchen knife out of the kitchen. I didn't know about it. We're walking in South Central and she's bringing up the same old shit. I kept, I never fucking chained on you. What the fuck are you talking? Here we go, you know what? I'm so sick and tired of this fucking bullshit. As, you, as I'm walking on the outside, woman's on the inside as always. I'm looking at the streets and then I'll see who's around. I wasn't even paying attention to her. As, I, as soon as I fucking turned my head, that fucking bitch says, you fucking liar. And standing in the back. <laughs> that shit went all the way in, all the way out, let alone I've never been stabbed, never been shot. What the fuck? You got stabbed by the one you love the most. So, so you think, spooky, what the fuck? It happened so fucking fast. It didn't even face me, but it's like, bitch, did you just fucking stab me? I tried to grab the knife from her hand. Help, help, shut the fuck up, bitch. Two, three in the morning, ain't no gonna fucking help you. I couldn't get the knife out of her hand. I let go. I walked like, fuck you, bitch. As I'm walking, I'm walking regular, but then it's a little tipsy, a little side. I'm walking to the side. I see one of my brothers coming down. Hey, what's up, spooky? And my boy's, you know, doing, he's, he's on his own little high, whatever. He's looking on the ground, just, you know, moving his feet around, like, you know, trying to see if there's anything, whatever. Hey, Spooks, you're bleeding, Holmes. <laughs> I said, hey, Holmes, it's a thin line between love and hate. He looked up. Oh, 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 shit. He put his arm around me and walked into Hamburger Palace right there in South Central in the parking lot. This lady was sitting right there on the crate. Honey, 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 here. Let Spooks sit down. I don't want to sit down on me. I want to breathe straight. I don't want to bend my love. I, 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 I want to stand up straight. Don't, don't worry. I had on a slingshot, white t-shirt, color t-shirt, windbreaker, raider, fucking windbreaker. I went through all that. My homeboy's trying to tell me fucking pick up my fucking windbreaker along with all my fucking damn t-shirts and fucking whatever the fuck, whatnot. As you pick it up, what does it do? It gets tighter. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You're, 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 uh-uh, don't, don't. When you pick it up, dick, you're putting fucking pressure on my chest and it's stop, it's, it's, no. Just, you know. Who's gonna, call the, who's, who's gonna call the ambulance? She looked at me, I looked at him, I looked at her. Bitch had her fucking thumb on the phone, circling it like, should I call? Someone better fucking call me, I'm fucking die right here, what the fuck? So then they call, spooks, what are we gonna say? A crackhead stabbed me, just fucking, just get over with. 
But the whole time in reality, when I'm doing this shit, when I went to Torrance Hospital again, my dad's worker, his little, his little psychic partner with the, you know, unload trucks or material when it comes restocked, whatever. My dad's um, little psychic partner comes in around almost like five in the morning and, and this incident happened, I'm like three or four. I'm getting sent to uh, Torrance Hospital and my dad's partner sees me. He goes, oh shit, that's Daniel's son. I'm back in there again, guys, with the stab wound. <laughs> and the nurses are like, nurse, yes, it's okay, sir. Doctor, yeah, he's, yeah, we got, uh, okay, we're good. And then one of the nurses goes, isn't this, this is this Daniel's son? No, I don't know. Is it? They're talking and I look at the nurse, I can barely speak as what? This whole time when she fucking stabbed me, I'm walking regular, I'm walking like this, I'm walking like this, I'm walking like this, because the blood's filling up in my lung. And I, and I, I, can't, I can't stand straight because the blood's making me go like this. Nurse, and she goes, yes, yes, I can't breathe. Doctor, he can't breathe. Doctor was with my dad. Danny, this is your son? Yes, one of the best doctors in Torrance Hospital, one of the main ones been there for years. Don't worry, Danny, we got him. All I see is a fucking, that little silver knife with a little razor. Oh God, he goes, nurse, there's nurse, all doctor, you can't breathe, okay? And then, oh God, no medication. And just went, oh fuck it. I'm just like, did it hurt? I, I didn't, I'm like, I don't know, dick. I'm fucking so in shock, like. And next thing you know, I was out. I wake up, the fucking machine going, tick, tick, tick. I gotta carry that with me to go to the restroom. I carry it with you, carry it with me back. What the fuck? Two fucking, two fucking, you know, two pipes right here. Two fucking tubes has a fucking water holes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get a phone call. Hello? Hi, baby. I love you. I miss you. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I married an axe murderer, what the fuck, man? She has a nerve to tell you. I said, I'm sorry. Bitch, what? Oh my God. I don't know what you want to call that. She said she was sorry. If I allow you one more time to say that, I'm going to knock you upside the head, okay? If that's a way of saying, I had to get you. No, 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 no. Your, your reasons of your ideas or your... Epiphanies of situations that you think that you know, but you don't have no f strong facts. Only on some bullshit of fucking what pregnancy, hormones, and emotionals. You got it worse than us, huh? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You just thought, saw the pushing, but just stabbing me in the back, like saying, fuck me. Sure did that. Gotta get, but guess what, bitch? You didn't kill me. <laughs> you tried, but you didn't. My whole point is, as I'm in the hospital, what the fuck? You at my uncle's with my son like nothing, because I told everyone that crack is that. I lied to my mom, I lied to my dad, my stepmom, my uncle, my auntie, my other uncle. I lied to my whole family. But only one person out of my family, my uncle, the triple OG, is done time also. And it doesn't sound like spooky. How the fuck did someone just come up and stab him? It don't add up right, he always, <laughs> You know when you say you lie, or you try to lie, but that lie's like, come again? Yeah, a crackhead stab. Okay. <laughs> ah, try again, let's make a deal. Like, what the fuck? My uncle says, Gina stabbed you, huh? Fuck, he got it. I can't lie to my uncle. I wrote down. I said, yeah, she did. That bitch, she was at my house. Theo, Theo, my son, I don't know, but you and your diabetes and everything, and you're getting hype, you know, I don't need you to fuck your shit up. Don't, don't trip, don't trip. Just let me recuperate. I don't, okay, but my son, I don't want to lose my son. He told me, okay, I'll relax. What do you want me to do? Let it play itself out. Let me figure it out, okay? Just let me figure it out. Okay, I won't. He went back to the house. Oh, the f like, you know, that, my uncle could not hold it. He couldn't hold it. How dare you? I invite you to my house. What are you talking about, Ruben? And all the innocent, what? My nephew told me, okay, nephew told you what? Okay, and then that yeah, you fucking stabbed him, bitch. Uh, 
I don't need to hear this shit. She wants to get up and pack up her bags and leave. Here we go with the shit. You're not leaving with Mikey. Yes, I am. Oh, no. My phone rings in my room. Oh, shit. Hello? I just told you, Ruben. Do not. <laughs> my own uncle made it more worse. Okay. Let her go. What can you do? As she was leaving, my uncle already called the cops. And the cops told Ruben, do you want to press charges? For what? For what she did to your nephew, I guess. My nephew's in the hospital right now, he's on the phone. Hello, Morales? Yes, and whatever you want to call it, you know, my life, my life wasn't threatened. My life was almost taken by a kitchen steak knife goes all the way in you, all the way out like nothing, and be okay? You got me fucked up. It turned out to be that, uh, yeah, she did stab me, yes. Dita just came to my room. And they says that uh, one unit went one direction, couldn't find her. Other unit, got her. Walking down 87th and Avalon, trying to do a side street. They got her. We have her in custody, along with your son. Social services is gonna come, get Mikey out of there. So you wanna press charges. Assault with a deadly weapon. Yes. So as I recuperate from the hospital and go back to my living, I have my son with me. You know, I mean, a father taking care of my son. I get a knock on the door. Yes, yeah, is Michael Morales here? Michael Morales, that's my son. Yes, we have a warrant right here. What? We're here to take Mikey from you because she said that I hit her. That bitch, domestic violence. So she goes out with a bang and, and my son gets taken from me with alt multiple officers right there. Can I escort him to the car seat? Yes, you can. I got his little bag ready. I was in tears. Her cousin lives in San Bernardino. Her cousin has a good life. They, she works with the state. My son's taken care of. My son's a little GQ little boy. He's a little commercial baby, he really is. Uh, you know, if I could show on the next video for future reference, I would show you a picture of him. He's a handsome little boy. Commercial, babe, I guarantee you that. But um, if I could say, at least my son's in good hands, I can only give the benefit of the doubt that he's taken care of. What can I do for him when I'm trying to get myself situated, not let things put me down or, you know, bring myself up? It's a lot of work, it's not easy. But um, when she went to jail for assault with a deadly weapon and a strike when social services came to my house and they seen the kitchen knife. Oh, no, no, no. Let me take a picture of this shit. That's a murder weapon. What? Took a picture of it, showed the judge. From assault with a deadly weapon to a attempted murder with a strike. Four months, five months pregnant and got released. Four fucking months and a strike? If it was me, <laughs> I would not be having this video with you guys right now. I'd be doing life after my third strike. Let alone when she got out of four months. <laughs> Fucking bitch put me on Facebook. Spooky from West Side Orphans is a snitch and a rat. <laughs> Facebook, dick. I just left a high level yard, motherfuckers. I left a high level yard with respect. And she wants to say, I'm a. You don't think someone out there. <laughs> I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I got him. You don't think so? For what the fuck? Uh, spooky, let it go. Oh, I wanna beat you up for saying that. You think that I'm not in this to fucking win it? You think I'm gonna just, oh, half-stepping. People, get it together, homie. That's a motherfucking, I don't know what, it's real serious when it comes to a situation like that. You know, my life's at stake. If I show any envy or any, that's your mother or your kids, I don't give a fuck. When I know I'm not a snitch, I know I'm not a rat, and you label me as that, <laughs> you gotta go. The fuck? But uh, God don't like ugly. God has her, I don't know where she's at. I don't give a fuck where she's at, but uh, like I said, it's a small world, and I just leave it at that. But um, 
when all in all, when I just think that it's that boom, that's a wrap. A couple months after that, I'm on a beach cruiser from Sunday afternoon, getting ready to go downtown LA from South Central, 87th Street, all the way down Avalon to 7th Street, going to, you know, go see my camaradas and shit. I left that bum like 10, 9, 9, 10 in the morning, going down Avalon in my own bike lane, my JBL, right in, you know, just doing my own thing. Avalon and Jefferson, before I hit Jefferson, a car, I don't know how in the fuck, this is my own bike lane, the gap, and the car lane for their fucking section. How in the fuck can you come all over here, hit me from behind, whoa, I see some fucking just like, just spin. The JBL goes one way, I go with it, fucking go under the fucking car and the fucking wheel is fucking dragging me and hitting me fucking like this and just burning me, ah, oh, what the fuck? And then a mile and a half, it spits me out of the fucking car. What the fuck just happened? My speaker goes rumbling, rumbling, rumbling. And my fucking, if you could see, I don't know if you could see the little, you know, little dent in my head, but blood just gushing down. <sighs> someone help me, <laughs> can someone help me? <sighs> okay, okay, the blood's just getting low like this, like this, it's just getting bigger. Son of a bitch. Hey bro, are you okay? I'm looking with one eye like this, fucking, you know, resident kind of guy, fucking five, six, five, five, whatever. He's looking left and right. He's saying, what the fuck did I create? <laughs> Fucking fool got back in the car and bombed out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hit and run. I get, they call the ambulance. I guess at the general hospital. From 1030, got discharged at 430 the same day. No paperwork, no medication. Bandage wrapped around my head. <laughs> Clean me up a little bit because for the fact that they did, they, they, they did a CAT scan on me. No fractured skull, no broken bones, no stitches, <laughs> no neck brace, but two layers of skin off his head and a fucking road rash on his back, like, ouch. Get the fuck out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, in all my life from child to a teenager to an adult, this is death number 10 for me. What is my reason here for living? I want answers. <laughs> Sometimes God does everything within itself on its own terms when it's the time's ready. But if people see, like you people out there in the, in, you know, worldwide that see something in me of talent, potential, Kobe Bryant, all that, you know, you people don't even know of me, but only what I share with you of my lifestyle. I thank you guys for just like encouraging me to Never give up my hopes and dreams. Have faith, have hope, stay strong, so we all live long. But if I'm here for a reason, I know God put me for a testimony to be something, you know? But uh, I'm here today, I thank God, you know, that it's not my time. If I'm here for a reason, I wanna be there to help anyone that needs help, you know what I'm saying? We all do. Love you guys, man, God bless you guys. Thanks, Boogie. You're a great speaker. Really? Oh, yeah.